Yo guys, what is going on? It is Invin here, and today what I'm bringing to you guys is the most profitable drops in New World after the February patch. Now, as always with this type of video, I'm bringing you guys some of the general trends and things that have received a change with the February patch and update that now make them valuable or more valuable than they were before. Now it will however be slightly different for every server so feel free to use this as a guide and starting point for things to look at but of course do check the individual pricing on your own server because there's no clear cut way or clear cut item that is going to be outpricing everything else consistently across every server because every server's got a slightly different economy. That being said these should be a good guide at things that have gone up in price consistently looking at the trends and looking at what's changed across the market entirely and the game itself so these should of course be netting you a good decent amount of gold if you do get them as drops now the usual suspects for making profit are still in play but today i'm not going to be really talking about those i'm going to be specifically going into the newer things or things that have been changed with this patch so it is going to be consistent with that rather than you know some of the more usual stuff like of course your recipes and such which will always sell for a decent amount of price depending on the recipe you get so before we fully jump into today's video if you haven't already done so please do go down below drop a subscribe to the channel i do upload brand new videos every single day so it'd be amazing to have you here as part of the channel community and without further ado, let's jump into it. So the first thing that we are going to be touching on today is the Insatiable Gravity Well Crafting Mod. This is of course named the Reinforced Oracalcum Greatax Charm as you guys can see on the screen. And on my server that I'm on right now, this is selling at a minimum price of 5,400 gold. This has seen a big increase. It was already a fairly popular craft mod. I think most people and most players that have grav wells on, if not every great axe player, because seemingly everybody's got it on, does want to get this perk. So it was already fairly popular, but the price and demand for this has gone up even further with the changes and, in fact, buffs to the great axe and grav wells specifically with the latest update. So as you can imagine, the prices of these have gone up a fair amount. They're generally collected from things like crates, containers anything along the side of chest type items they can be picked up from those so you're going to get them mainly from your elite runs or doing any chest runs that you do throughout the world i don't think there has to be a specific tier given that craft mods can pretty much drop anywhere across a turnum so you can get your hands on these wherever you do go looting so my recommendation is just to keep looting all of the chests that you see in the hopes that you get one or another craft mod that i mentioned later in today's video because these are actually as you can see a ridiculously high price just one of these is five 5.4k gold so yeah you're going to be on some good money if you do manage to get your hands on one or more of these and if you already had some in the bank from previous iterations of the game when it wasn't quite as expensive or you were maybe saving up a few to try and use now is maybe the time to sell these because as more and more people put that onto their weapon again the price will gradually start to come down as we get further into the patch but for right now this is a great one if you do get it as a drop from the chests now in the same vein iron battle medals have gone up in price as you can see significantly less expensive than the insatiable gravity well craft mod there but that being said these are needed to be bought in bulk essentially the reason these have gone up is because they apply the strength perk to an item when it is crafted and of course you will need 10 of those in order to apply it to a timeless shard the reason for this is of course the great axe received a buff with the latest update and the warhammer is also really good at the moment as it has been for quite a while so you are going to see a lot of players particularly in the 50 v 50 war environment and in outpost rush now that damage is an indicator for scoreboard activity are going to be rolling for strength on their weapons so as you can see pretty much these prices 42 you may as well times that by 10 because that is what people are going to be buying in bulks of 10 in order to be able to get the right amount they need to craft a timeless shard item essentially a great axe war hammer whatever with the strength perk on so again not quite as good if you do just get one as a drop but if you have managed to stockpile a few previously or you managed to get your hands on two or three it's still not something to throw away as it is selling for a fair bit of gold now one side note to mention here as well is generally the fire staff charms have gone up or are fairly high up in price right now because the fire staff received a fairly decent buff with this latest patch as well as you can see the oracalcum fire staff charm which gives you empowered fireball is sitting at around a thousand gold just slightly under and the slightly less favorable seemingly the steel fire staff charm which is of course refreshing pillar of fire this one is also fairly high up there not 
again, quite as much, but it is still on 155. So you're going to net yourself a decent bit of gold. Again, the prices will be different on your individual servers, but generally following the trends, these will be up again for the next week or two at the very least. Some servers, it will be much longer. So do keep your eyes out peeled for those drops there. Now, another thing here is legendary schematics. Now, this may at first glance seem like a fairly obvious point, but the reason I'm saying it, as you guys can see on screen, is that some of the previously legendary schematics have actually been changed to epic to reflect the item that they will actually allow to be crafted once you have dismantled and learnt this schematic. For example, Eruption here is a fire staff, and as you can see, it is an epic one, which will mean this item, once you unlock it, will be below 600. If you can, for example, find yourself a 600 gear score schematic, then this will, of course, be in high demand at the moment, because, of course, this is then going to give you a guaranteed 600 gear score item, which a lot of players, obviously, at the moment, want to do to get themselves up with the Umbral system when they unlock the expertise level. That being said, you do want to take note of some of the ones that could be around the 590 plus mark, because, of course, you can upgrade those to 600 with the new Umbral system, and then from 600 to 625 as well, providing that you have the expertise level unlocked that does mean that the 590 ones are probably going to be highly priced as well and again if they've got some really good perks on it could be worth getting it to 600 or 600 plus as well even as a 590 595 type item so do keep your eyes peeled for those ones as well and just look out which schematics you do get as drops as some will be worth a fair amount of money now again this is something which will be quite temperamental from server to server so i'm just going to cycle through a few of the raw material items but as you can see on screen green wood is selling for nearly a quarter of a gold each and you get several from chopping down a tree this is significant and generally the prices of raw materials and things that are used in crafting will have gone up in price and that is because the introduction of the tier 3 aptitude rewards that are now include the smelting set lots of people are trying to get up their crafting skills to that tier 3 several times so that they can get various iterations of the set and of course duplications for them to sell onwards this is really important because it means for the next couple of weeks depending again on your server size server activity maybe it's going to be longer but for those more populated servers it's going to be the next couple of weeks probably to the next two to three weeks something like that where players are really grinding for those tier three trade skill aptitude caches you are going to be able to get some really really good prices on things that are raw materials as you guys can see iron ore here is also selling for quite a lot and if we actually look into some of like the tier four resources these are selling for a crazily high amount and of course everyone's favorite the auric alchem ingot again will be serving dependent but has risen in price now that leads nicely into my next one which of course like i've just mentioned there is the brand new smelter set this is going to sell for quite a lot on every server so if we have a look at the price here you can see that these are selling for a very large amount because they are in finite resource right now again this is likely to be for the first two to three weeks depending on your server size maybe slightly less could be vastly more for some of the less populated servers and this is a really good way that you're going to be able to make some money if you are are able to get duplicate pieces so if you for example you've already got your own smelters pants and you get another set the minimum price on here right now is 21,000. so we are going to be able to see a good bit of cash going through those now in conjunction with that like i just showed you guys there the auric elkum or cinnabar tolvium again server dependent will generally rise in price and that is because each piece of this smelter set gives you a plus two yield when smelting and this also applies to your daily craft limit so in this case the Asmodium. That's crucial because it means the materials that you need to create the Asmodium are going to be more highly in demand as everyone is going to be much more strictly sticking with that especially if they do get the hands on the set whether their end goal is to be crafting or to be making a profit off the extra Asmodium to sell it you're going to be able to make a profit off that middle section which is of course either the set or or the materials to craft into the Asmodium. So bear that in mind again, check the prices on your individual servers, but generally that's going to be a trend that continues throughout, and the smelter set is going to be pretty much valuable for the next month or two until it becomes much more vastly available by a big amount of players having hands-on with it. Now, what I've done here for you guys is just thrown on the Elemental Aversion perk on the perk selected. This is because Aversions did get a bit of a change with the latest update. Now, a lot of sources are reporting that this has been a, some sort of buff. I I'm not 100% sure on what this has actually been buffed or not yet, so I'm going to have to do some personal testing before I bring you guys a conclusive answer on that. 
That being said, a lot of the pieces of armor, especially if they've got good other perks on, are now selling for a very decent amount with the Elemental Aversion on. So as you can see, things there, Elemental Aversion, Resilient, Penetrating, Rapid Shot, selling for 45,000. You've got stuff selling for 7,000, which is set fortifying Sacred Ground, Elemental Aversion, and Reinforced Login Look. So even with Login Look on there, still 7,000, but it has got the correct perks, of course. So you'll have to go again and see the prices on your server. I'm sure it will be the same for Physical Aversion on most servers. It is on my server. And again, just watch the price of this and watch when more sources confirm whether this has been buffed or not and if it comes out that it has been buffed you can be sure that there's going to be a big shoot up in the price so again watch the craft mods for it as well respectively especially the new ones that you can get from mutations because they are likely to soar in price too now also in the february update what they did was reduce the maximum and the minimum allowed housing tax down to 0.1 as the minimum and one percent as the maximum tax brackets the company is also paid five times this amount so they still get a decent share but it does mean that players are paying a lot less for their upkeep and it's making more players buy houses. Generally, you're going to see a lot of increase in people buying extra houses if they didn't already have three and upgrading and therefore investing in the houses because they're now able to place furniture, trophies and storage chests that they will actually be willing and able to pay the upkeep for every single week. Now that being said, some really important things to take into account then is going to be your trophies because players, like I said there, are going to be investing in their homes more as they are going to be able to actually afford the upkeep which keeps these buffs going. The fully crafted trophies will be selling for a lot as you can see. This is the major armoring crafting trophy so this is quite a rare one as it is but this is 60,000 cheapest on my server. You can also check the individual prices so for example the precision tools are selling for 43,000 there so it's worth checking both the individual components to the trophies and the trophies themselves these generally are dropped from chests and things of that nature in elite zones so again you are going to be able to get your hands on some of these when you're going around doing that and if you are lucky enough to get it you can be sure that these will again net you a very decent profit now again with the housing changes you can be sure that people are going to be buying up the storage chests for the same reason as before being able to afford the upkeep and keep that active as such you will see the price rise on these a fair bit and actually you should be in profit after buying your stones now from the faction vendor the stone of holding that allows you to craft these so that's a bonus for most of the crafters out there but on top of that you should be able to make a good profit off making some of these and selling them if you can this isn't strictly a drop though so do bear in mind that is a crafted part the drop part of it is of course the recipes to be able to craft these chests are probably going to go up in demand as the demand for chests goes up so again if you do get a drop of the recipes or the schematics as you can see for example the schematic for the golden steel storage chest there is none available for and when these do go up generally they are very very expensive so you are super lucky if you do get those drops but just bear it in mind in case you think oh it's a furnishing item maybe it's not going to be worth much the storage chests are a mint of an item to get on the main part so again check the server prices and such but generally you're going to be on a solid good one if you do get any of those now the final thing that i wanted to add into this video is just going to be any 600 legendary gear drops that you get whether they've got decent perks or better still if they've got good perks you can see some on here for just a few hundred if their perks are kind of a bit rubbish this one's got siphoning incinerate physical aversion and luck which at first glance isn't too bad but then it's also got focus and constitution as heavy footwear it's not going to be that high in demand, but that is still selling for about 600. You're also going to see things at like 2000, where it's Constitution, Heavy Helmet, with Resilient, Beast Ward, Leeching Cyclone. So really, if you're using a spear, it's okay. Beast Ward's not really that great. Resilient's pretty good. So one really good perk, one okay perk if you're using that item, and one not so good perk, and that is still around 2000 gold. Now, of course, these are going to be different on every single server, like I've said with all of these, but generally now with the accessibility to umbral shards been much vaster for most players with it dropping from outpost rush the increase to the amount that you get from gypsum casts and of course crafting 600 plus items it's given players a lot more of an opportunity to level up their 600 gear score items and as such is putting these in a much higher demand therefore if you do get a drop that's 600 even if you don't think it's that good just check what is similar that is selling on the trading post right now as you could be in for a very pleasant surprise even if it's not something you would personally equip yourself so that is pretty much going to be it for today's video guys i'd like to thank you all for watching hopefully it does help you out and hopefully you are able to make some nice gold from the changes that we've seen in the february patch here with this 
little tips and advice from today's video. Other than that, I would like to thank you all for watching and thank you for your time. And I will catch you again very, very shortly on a brand new upload. Take care, guys, and peace.